I bet no one has ever told you that most coronal mass ejections from the sun are bigger than actual planets, and are not just flashes of light, EMPs, or auroras that disrupt electricity and magnetic fields. You are never going to convince me that the Earth and all the other planets are not just plasma plumes that burst out from the sun. All the planets orbit in the same direction the sun is spinning in, and their orbits collectively display the angular momentum and synchronicity you would expect to see from objects moving outward from a common central source. In fact, there is such a symphonic and harmonic alignment amongst the conjunction of planets, and the speed at which they go around the sun, that, if you were to move all the planets from their current orbital distance and place them closer to the sun, closer than even Mercury's current orbit, then all the planets would, one, align perfectly with the sun's equator, and two, all the planets, regardless of their size, would take roughly the same time to go around the sun. So, accretion disks and clouds of dust and rubble merely shroud